Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do a review on Kira's Tent. So let's go ahead and get started. This retails for $225 and I'll tell you at the very end how much I actually spent on it. I did not put the legs on it or the stairs because I don't know how easy those are to get on and off again. I guess I'd have to ask people who have put it together um, how easy it is to take it apart and put it back together or whatever. So I didn't do that just for the sake of putting it away later if I need to. Which, the box has already made its way to my basement. My textbook is right there because it's covering a sticker on my mirror. Here's this little um, mosquito netting hung right here. And then you can just easily take it off if you don't want it. I don't like how it's not like two separate pieces. Like... It's connected in the center. I would have liked it to have a seam right here and then have it be like two separate pieces. So otherwise you just have to kind of take off the whole thing. I mean, you don't have to, but it's more of a nuisance than anything else in my opinion. It wasn't that hard to put together. I would have, these poles have numbers on them and in the in the instructions, it tells you which one's which. And I can kind of see the one right here. And then each of these little elbow pieces has a letter on it. I really like this tent. I really wanted it. I think it's worth the money. Especially if you have rewards, use it. Like, get it as soon as possible because I don't know how long this is going to be around for. It already said limited quantities once already, so I guess I would get it as soon as you can. You guys, I'm not even lying. I think this thing's going to go fast. So I'm going to go over all the little pieces that it has. So this one says welcome and then G-Day on it. I don't remember what G-Day means, but it's a plastic little sign with a pink rope on it, I guess could either hang it there or on these little hooks that are in the front on either side. I have Kira sitting here because it's her tent, obviously. I mean, it has these cool little, like, fence. The green in there. That's really cool. And then we have this Aussie Animals little magazine. And then all of these Polaroids, there's a lot of them. It's pictures of, you know, like real animals, which is super cool. Like koalas, kangaroos, wombats. The coast view, which is gorgeous. Would I ever go to Australia? No, because there's giant creatures that terrify me, such as spiders gross. The Polaroids don't really make sense to me. I do like them because they're aesthetically pleasing, but this is not a Polaroid camera. It's just a regular old camera, kind of like what we got with Leah in her set and like most of the other cameras that came with AG sets. But I don't know, that, that didn't add up to me. I was like, um, it's not a Polaroid camera, but I love the Polaroids. These little guys are hooks you can put on any one of these rods. For instance, you can hang stuff from it. So I have this Wildflowers of Australia hanging from the back above her bed. And then the top, the top's kind of like a, almost like a canvasy type material, but less coarse, I guess. This is really cool though. And that just ties up in the front here and then it just kind of lays over the top. Ties up in the front. And then I have some more mosquito netting. But you do have to put these on before you connect um, the rods. You can't even tell where the scratches are because they're covered up. This is kind of like little paper clips, but not really. They don't actually like 
they don't open and close like real paper clips or not paper clips like the wooden clips you hang here let me see if i can show you so you put the picture in there like this and then there's a loop right here that you can hang it from one of those little hooks so you have cute little pictures hanging in your little tent i like that i kind of want to make my own because i feel like it could be so much longer because this one only has four on it and i do have the little clips i could make my own and have it hang like all the way to the floor or make a couple of them because you do have three of these. So you can make two of them and then hang all your pictures from them and make more pictures and stuff. The mattress just sits on the floor. It's really thick. I was super surprised when I opened this. It is a kind of like almost the same material as the top except less coarse. It, I would say it's like a weird cotton, but I don't know. And then the blanket is this thin material, but I don't know what it is. It's literally just this, but of course you're in Australia. And if you're in the desert, it's obviously hot, so you don't need a thick blanket. And then here is the koala pillow, which is probably my favorite. Super cute, looks like it was painted. And the back is pink. And then we have this plain pink cotton pillow with the obnoxiously long tags on them. But this one, I would say, is also cotton, but I love the koala on it. It's super pretty. And then I'll show you this because it's actually kind of cool. It's like printed on cardstock. Tells you all the flowers at the bottom and then it's folded over right there to add some reinforcement to it so it won't rip as easy okay and then i want to show you the lantern because why not you're supposed to pull out this little tab on the bottom and then push the little power button and then it kind of flickers like a real candle which is so cute i'm gonna leave this on and see how long it runs for it might be like 60 seconds or so this is a cushy cushion it's not hard at all it's just cushy with a tag on it it's not sherpa but it's definitely like a Ooh, i don't like this material it sheds Ugh. i don't know what you would call this it's soft. It's not that soft, but it's soft. And then here we have the vanity. It's plastic, unfortunately. It's not real wood. It's not real wood like this part down here is like thick, dense wood with like a, I would call this floor a sticker, like one big sticker. And then we have two blue towels. This blue is kind of fun. This part, this side is soft and then we have other side that looks like a regular old towel so yeah you have two of those and then we have a toothbrush i don't remember if american girl toothbrushes have ever had real bur <laughs> real bristles or not but it kind of reminds me of like our generation or something just an orange toothbrush cute and then oh our light shut off i wasn't even paying attention to it we have bug repellent Lavender scented and we have this tiny canister of dry shampoo and guess what the lid comes off and This actually goes up and down Which is super cool. I've never seen American girl with you know that detail I guess they could have done the same thing with that bug spray, but they didn't so that was really cool I was surprised when I opened this all up. I was like, oh my gosh and then we have a toothpaste, which again could look nicer. I mean, it could, they could have added like a flavor on there too. Like it doesn't say anything else on it except toothpaste. So it's not bubble gum or mint or something like that, you know? 
And then here is the Beach Rose Hand Soap. Cute. And then we have a tissue box. Little flowers on it. It's kind of like a periwinkle color. And then this is kind of like if you've ever used like baby wipes or anything like that. It's It literally feels like that, but obviously dry. Yeah, there's a tissue box. And then here's the sink. These move. And then the sink, this part does not move. It's just fixed in place. I don't know why you'd want to move it because the sink is right here and you can't can't move that either. That's pretty much about it for this little vanity. It has these little diamond things. There's the back. I love the... Oops, what was that? Oh, my bug repellent dropped it. I love the X-Style legs on it. Super cute. And then the mirror looks like this. I'll try to take it off without breaking anything. So it has this like hook type thing on it. That just hooks onto the bars. So you could honestly put it wherever you wanted. However, it's kind of weird that, you know, you can't like hang it from the corner because what if you wanted to put this like that and then hang the mirror from the corner, you know what I mean? I don't know, I guess you could do this, it just doesn't look as good though. It's not parallel with the mirror. Yeah, it's nice that you can like put it wherever you want on these rods though. And you can tilt it forward or back. I usually just have it like that. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. I do like it a lot. I would show you the stairs, but I put those away. Those are in the box that's in the basement. But they would hook on right here onto these two places. And I wasn't sure if they would come off, so I didn't put them on. I don't know why that would have mattered because I didn't put the legs on either. I like this little chair thing. It's kind of cool. And it's not... The dolls, I think, will actually sit really nicely on here because it's not, like, plastic or anything where they could just easily slide off. You know what? Let's try it. Let's try putting Kira on there. And her feet do go under the thing to kind of hold her up. The mirror is a little bit warped, as you can tell. It's super funny. Okay, so I just put Kira in her bed just to kind of show you guys what it looks like. Her feet do go pretty much almost to the end like that. I wish it was a little bit longer, but that's all right. I mean, at least it fits her, right? And she's not like hanging off. Could be smaller. And then the blanket covers her very well. Yeah, this has been a review on Kira's tent. Please let me know if you guys have any questions on it. I'll try to answer them as best I can. Is this worth the money? Definitely. If you have rewards, like let's say you have a $50 reward, ask your friends. See if they have a reward that they won't use because literally that's what I did. My friend gave me her rewards. She's like, I don't need this. You can use it. I'm like, bless your soul. I also had a gift card from work that I used. So I paid just under $60 for this out of my own pocket. Totally worth it. Is it worth the $225? Is it worth the full $225? Not really. I mean, I wish this would have been wood. Then it would have been a little bit more worthwhile. And maybe some other things. Maybe like another stuffed animal or something, you know? Like just little touches like that that I wish they would have added along with it. But other than that, I really like this set. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Again, if you have any questions, comment them below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.